Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. I'm a YouTuber, full-time software engineer and a career coach. A common question that people ask me is Abhishek, how do you manage your time to perform all of these tasks? So in this video, I'm going to share my experience and how do I manage my time? Now, this is a very useful video. And personally, if someone asked me, Abhishek, what is that one video that everyone has to watch on your channel? I'll tell you, this is that video. Because I'm a very imperfect person, but I learned how to manage my time. And only because of that, I'm able to do all of these tasks. Being a YouTuber, being a software engineer, and being a career coach. So I feel if you watch this video, you will also take back something from me and you will figure out your own way of managing time. Okay, so in this video, I'm not going to use phrases like wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning or any of these things, but I'm purely and genuinely going to tell you the tips and tricks that I follow. First thing, the very first thing that I would tell you is figure out your productive hours during the day. Now, this depends on person to person. Some people might find productive time during early hours of the morning. Like some people might find waking up 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. better. Or some people might find staying late, that is 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Or some people might find afternoons better. And let me tell you, it's totally okay. Personally, during some days, I find afternoons very productive because of my work. You know, sometimes I have meetings in the evening. So I feel that afternoons are very productive for making YouTube videos. And sometimes I feel late nights are very productive when I don't have meetings. So it's totally up to you to decide what is your productive hours during the day. And it can be anything like I told you. But just make sure that during your productive hours, you perform the most important tasks of your day. But point number two, how do you find what is the most important task or the task? So here it's very, very simple and you might have heard it from many people, but it's true that you need to write down what are your tasks for that particular day or you need to remember that these are my tasks that I want to complete during this day and then you decide the priority of the task. So priority is the least priority task is the one that you can let go for tomorrow. And the most important priority task is the commitment that you have given for this particular day. Let's say I say that I will release uh, day zero of Terraform today on my YouTube channel. Then that becomes my most priority task because I have given a commitment. Right. So that way you have to figure out what is your most important task. For example, you have an interview tomorrow. So preparing for the interview becomes your priority task than preparing for a concept that has been pending for a long time. Probably you don't know the most important topic, but that is not important for your tomorrow's interview. Then you can push that thing for the next day and preparing for the interview becomes your priority concept or the priority uh, task, right? So that way list down the priority task. And then during your most productive hour, do that particular task. Now, if you don't follow any of these things, then it's a total mess and you are wasting your time. Because during your productive hours, you should not be doing anything else but to focus on the important task. Let's say the important task for you is to watch a movie, then that's totally fine. You can do that during your productive hours. But you are only wasting your time, right? Because movie or something, you can do it during your non-productive hours. Because you already know that during that hours, how much time you might focus, you may sit down and you may uh, struggle a lot, but you will still not able to complete because those are not your productive hours. Point number three, smart work. Now this is again very, very important. Let's say there are two persons. Person one, who is a hard worker, and person two, who is a smart worker. Both of them have an interview tomorrow and they only have three hours to prepare. Now person one being a hard worker goes to the job description, understands that interview can be on Kubernetes. So goes through the official Kubernetes documentation or randomly search for videos on Kubernetes and learn Kubernetes. He'll be able to complete 
10 or 20 percentage of Kubernetes. Whereas person two will spend first one hour on understanding what kind of questions can be asked, what are the most commonly asked questions, and only prepares for that. Now, what is the advantage of this? Is person two being a smart worker has a good chance of cracking the interview because he already knows what kind of questions can be asked and he's prepared for it. Now, I'm not supporting this and you have to work hard plus you have to work smart. That means when you have time, let's say tomorrow is not your interview, then start in the way that the hard worker is doing, go through the official documentation, learn everything. But when you know that you have something important tomorrow, then smart work will play a very important role. Let's say I have to do a YouTube video tomorrow. Now, I cannot just go and randomly teach everything to you people, right? So I have to do a smart work and I have to teach the most important concepts to you people. So this way, in anything that you are performing, when you have something very critical that is very near, then do the smart work, but always don't do only smart work. When you have enough time, let's say you have six months to prepare for an exam, then do the hard work. Only in the last 10 days or last 15 days, smart work plays an important role. Right. So step one or point one that I've covered is you need to find out your productive hours. Point two is you need to prioritize your task. And point three is do the smart work. And these are the very simple tricks that I do. And you might be thinking, but Abhishek, it's very difficult to do all of these things on a day to day basis. I totally agree. There are off days and there are some days where you cannot do anything because you know, you're not in the right, right mind or you don't want to do anything. That's totally fine. And I'll totally encourage to take breaks. Let's say you don't want to read, then you don't have to read for one day, but next day you have to be extra productive, right? And that is what I do as well. Let's say I don't make a video today. Then the next day I make sure that my audience get even a better video than I what, than what I usually deliver, right? So this is how you have to do, of course, Everyone has flaws and it is about managing your own time. Now, this tips is something that I follow from these things. Take what you can do. So I am doing my YouTube. I'm delivering content on my YouTube. I'm working as a software engineer and I'm also doing career coaching in your day to day life. You might do different things. So figure out what works for you. But this is something that I do and I hope you can take back something from me and implement on your day to day basis. Please comment below if you like this and how many are you go how many of you are going to do it from tomorrow. Take care everyone. Thank you so much for watching it and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.